Hello everybody, um, Ezra here and yeah today is gonna be a really different video um, I wanna talk about because again I, I just watched the Jujutsu Kaisen o a Zero movie and really love it um, and I want to talk about this character obviously the main character of the movie which is Okotsu Yuta uh, and I I saw some people do like comparison or like well, or, you know share their opinions that maybe Okotsu Yuta was a much better main characters than Itadori Yuji or Yuji Itadori whatever you spell that um, and yeah I mean I just want to talk I want to share my opinions with you guys about how I feel about the characters and whether or not I think about uh, if this if you thought was actually much better than you know Yuji uh, and I just also recently watched the Forever World uh, review for the movie which is again the channel that provide news for anime and all that kind of stuff and he <coughs> also provide his own opinion about Yuta in, in you know the, the main character himself so yeah for, I mean for a starter I think I would say this that the movie actually make me love Yuta, Maki, Inomaki and Panda uh you know make me love them even more than before you know I know that the, the two of them appear in a main series but as like a side character because the main characters are like the main trio was Itadori, right? Kogisagi and Fushiguro. Um, and I'll say this movie makes me love uh, Maki, Panda, and Uni Inomaki even more. To be fair, because I feel like I I don't know I don't know I don't know what it is, guys. Because I feel like the movie itself it feels contained, right? Um, like it doesn't feel that uh, big yet. I guess um, there is some build there is some build up and the lore and all that kind of stuff, but. I feel like the movie feels contained and feels it was tightly paced so I and again the the interaction between all of them is just amazing and especially Yuta uh, again backstory which is again him with Rika you know and it's just like yeah man that was tragic you know and I again I compare Yuta to Junpei before from the main series because I feel like the comparison came from like Junpei I, I guess Junpei is a bit different because he has his mom right but Yuta is being bullied. He lost his his loved one, I guess, in the early age, you know, and and Rika just being following following him around as a curse, as a giant powerful curse, right? And then he just have nobody, like nobody is on his side, and then he just want to stay away with everybody, and then from everyone, and just want to live alone. And then obviously Gojo Satoru convinced him that hey. You should join the school because you can probably try to control this giant curse that you have, you know, been following you around, right? And I feel like, to me, that seems like a really simple uh, motivation, right? You just want to be free from the curse and then you just all like try to control the curse, right? And then obviously poss possibly try to help other people around. Uh, but... It, it, it was really effective but to be fair it was really effective and that's why i feel like a lot of people are starting to love yuta even more because yuta was being mentioned in the main series like a lot by some of the main characters obviously and they respect him like a lot you know even uh todo you know like my brother <laughs> you know it's just like even he respect yuta in the main series he was like wow you know um and i don't think we're going to see yuta in season two some people say it's going to be the end of season two some people that there's gonna be season three, so I have no idea. But either way, I, I, you know, I, I understand that because in the in the series that back in the day you don't even know who is Okotsu Yuta right? unless you read the manga, you know, the the zero manga. But I feel like from this movie, people will respect him even more, and then start noticing that oh, wait a second, the main the main characters in the series actually really respect Yuta, you know, and I'm glad they they did, you know, because. He's really power powerful, obviously, um, and his personality as well. You know, I feel like um, <laughs> his personality, which is uh, you know, like just innocent young boy who doesn't even know what he was doing in his life, right? Um, have a, have a giant curse following around, and then just meet these weird people, basically, well, quote unquote weird, um, but helpful and supportive people like Maki, Panda, and Inomaki, right? Or Togi, I guess. <laughs> um, and it's just like, yeah, man. I feel like the the chemistry between all of them is just amazing, and I I think it's amazing to see Yuta becoming these different characters by the end of the, by the end of the movie. Like he became more confident, obviously. 
but you also see his different side of him which is like when he was angry oh man he is scary <laughs> especially in in the the battle with ghetto if you guys already watched the the movie um like when he was like snap and he was angry like that i was like holy shit this guy this guy is scary <laughs> i didn't expect that because so far he was just being you know a soft boy you know and i love him for that you know and it's just like yeah i mean i think that's all of that element for me really makes me love yuta even more than itadori yuji because i feel like itadori yuji doesn't really provide me with anything in my opinion like i again i don't hate on him like not, like some people did like no i don't hate on yuji or nobara for Fushiguro. i like them all but it's just like if you ask me which one i pick between yuta and yuji i will pick okotsu yuta over itadori yuji or yuji itadori because i feel like itadori yuji doesn't really um, I don't know, like, I feel like he's talking about, like, you know, proper death or something like that, you know, based on the translation. And he just doesn't really, I don't know, I didn't I didn't really relate to him. Because it seems like he, he has a grandpa, and then the grandpa died, and then he just won. He has this power, whatever it is, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to see uh, his ultimate backstory. Because why why he was able to contain Sukuna in his body, right? Um. And he kind of just get dragged to the Jujutsu world, you know, while Okotsu Yuta doesn't even want it, doesn't even know about Jujutsu sorcerers, obviously. And he just like a boy who lost his loved one in, at a young age, right in front of his eye. And then he just got cursed, you know, like, I guess, like, or I guess, spoilers, he cursed Rika and then Rika become, you know, attached to him like forever, basically. And becoming this, po this powerful curse, curse, you know, and... That to me alone, the backstory alone, convinced me that, you know what, I think Yuta is a much better main character. And if you guys actually say that, oh, you know what, Okotsu Yuta was a, a, a much better main character than Itadori Yuji, well, I completely agree. I think Yuta is a much better than Itadori Yuji, but at the same time, again, I don't hate on Itadori. It's just that Yuta is just much, much more uh, relatable to me. Like, I, I, like, his backstory is much more relatable, and you can feel sad for him. While for Itadori... It seems, like, it seems like, yeah, you can feel sad for him in the beginning, but not that much because so far he doesn't really do anything in the story. I mean, sure, he has, he cares for other people, like he's a fucking chat, <laughs> that's for sure. But it's just like, there is nothing that uh, relatable, you know, for Itadori, at least for me, you know. But for Yuta, when I was first watching his backstory, I was like, relate to him, I care for him, and I just like, really loving his character even more. And... Some extra point here. I really, really love the uh, the friendship, I guess, or like the relationship between uh, Yuta and Maki, you know, or I guess Yuta Maki. The sh that's that's their ship name apparently. Um, and I did mention in my review that you know I kind of wonder what people will think about Yuta Maki because I feel like this movie will will provide them even more material because people don't really really read the the zero the Jujutsu sorry Jujutsu Kaisen Zero manga. And I'm really curious to see how people will respond to, you know, Yuta X Maki. Because I'm, again, I know that, again, I know Jujutsu Kaisen is not a romance story. I get that. Again, I'm not pushing romance here, but I'm just like, curious. I just want to talk about it. That I feel like Yuta and Maki could make a good couple, in my opinion. I feel like his, um, I feel like Yuta is the first person to believe in Maki. You know, the guy who basically lost everything actually view Maki as, you know, actually look up to Maki because Maki is such an incredible character, obviously, and she's just amazing. She just doesn't get up, give up, you know, for the, the family harassment and all that kind of stuff, and he just want to, she, sorry, she just want to pr prove everybody that, hey, I can be powerful even if, if I don't have a curse power or, like, curse energy, and then Yuta was like, you know what, Maki, you're amazing. I want to be like you, you know, and then even then, Maki was like, you know, blushing in front of the door, <laughs> and I was like surprised to me. You know, like don't, don't you think that you, uh, you were accepted or something like that? He, she said that. You know, and it's just like, wow. You know, so I, I feel like Yuta is like the catalyst for Maki's character. You know, when you see it, Maki in the in the main series, like obviously she's much different because she's she's like you know a second year in the main series, but this one, she's only the first year, which again remind me of Nobara Kugisagi, which is just like you know, like, brass, and just really more expressive, and all that kind of stuff, and I like that side of Maki, and I kind of wish they brought that back, but I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna brought that back, sadly, um, but, 
Anyway, yeah, I mean, I really like the the characters. I think he is better than Itadori Yuji in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, if you guys have different opinion, that's that's totally fine. Okay, I'm not here to attack you. I'm not here to, you know, change your opinion or something like that. No, like if you have a different opinion, that's fine. That's totally fine because I I feel like people will agree that Itadori Yuji is, is better than Yuta. But I feel like people that I that I have seen online. Actually said that you know what? I kind of wish Okotsu Yuta was the main character of Jujutsu Kaisen, and I'll say I agree. <laughs> I feel like I I hope Jujutsu uh, sorry I hope you know I kind of wish that Yuta Maki Ino Inomaki and then uh, Panda is the the four main characters of Jujutsu Kaisen and not the original trio. And again, I have no problem with the original trio, but I just think that they these four of them these four was way better, you know. And even even again, they only appear in the movie. And I feel like I'm kind of sad that I, we probably won't see the four of the the four of them in the main series together. I don't know why I get that feeling. <laughs> I really hope that we get to see Yuta, Maki, Panda, and Inumaki just be a team once again in the main series. Yeah. You know, whenever that time comes. Um, so I don't know. I just hope that we get to see that <laughs> in this in the main series eventually. Um, not season two though, because a lot of people said that apparently you're not going to see Yuta in season two possibly the end of season two but most likely season three which is yeah okay <laughs> you know because i feel like jisoo kaisen story was like still very long so there you go um either way yeah guys that's uh that's for a video <laughs> again it's just me um sharing my opinions about okosu yuta and then my love for jisoo kaisen in general um maybe i make more videos in the future who, who knows right um i just i just glad that i can make something different than just reacting to I've not for this the entire time because it's boring eventually right i want to do something else besides that i don't think anybody will watch this but i guess we'll see <laughs> i really hope you guys actually watch this and uh you know share your own opinions obviously um about whether you guys think that okotsu yuta do you guys think that okotsu yuta is a much better character or like main characters than itadori yuji because this this is like a hot topic you know um and yeah and do you guys think that Ma maki panda and inumaki it's a much better trio than Itadori, Nobara, and Fushiguro, you know. I'm also really curious to see about y y your guys' opinion, you know, because seeing Jujutsu Kaisen Zero make me wish that Yuta and then the three of them, uh, the three of them become the, the main protagonist, the main characters, you know, instead of like the original trio. Um, at least from the movie, at least again, that's my opinion. I don't, I don't hate the original trio, I still love them, alright? I'm still gonna root for them, so don't worry, calm down, <laughs> you know, um... But yeah, feel free to share your opinions about that in the comment section below if you want to, obviously. And um, yeah, I think that's it for today's reaction video. Um, so reaction video. Sorry again. This is the problem when you make reaction video the entire time. Okay, sorry. I I I'm kind of stuck doing the outro. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, anyway, that's my video talking about Kotsu Yuta and whether whether he was better than y Itadori Yuji. Um. And well, I guess um, if you guys watched the video until the end, well, thank you for that. Uh, don't forget to leave the like, subscribe, obviously, ring the bell, share the videos, use all stuff, I guess. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to make more Jujutsu Kaisen video in the future, like talking about something else in the future, I guess. Um, I, I just want to try something different for the channel for a bit. You know, be, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get back to FNAF, but maybe I will, obviously. But it's just like, yeah, I hope you guys will watch this. I hope you guys will support this. Um, uh, I will be really grateful if you guys can actually watch the video, you know. <laughs> I know it's something different, I'm really sorry, but, you know, I want to do something different as well, so I, I apologize. <laughs> um, either way, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye!